What's going on my friends? Happy Thursday. We're seeing Bitcoin break out out of $30,000 for the first time in many months and sparking a huge excitement of the upcoming bull market. I want to show you in today's episode of today's show, you know, how altcoins are rising and why Bitcoin price is moving high in the past three days. We are seeing Bitcoin is about $30,000 right now. Multiple coins are into the double digit gains. You know, you can see the entire market is in green while Pepe leading the way was up 40% in the past 24 hours. Absolutely incredible. We believe in Pepe. <laughs> of course, the meme, the meme coins are pumping the hardest at times of excitement like this we see the fear and greed index is now in greed guys which means that the market is super greedy right now and uh it, it's going towards even more greed in, in the immediate short term in my opinion but this is where you need to be more careful when a market answer greed we're gonna see some corrections in every bull market we've seen multiple corrections you know four five six up to seven corrections of up to 30 to 40 percent it's going to happen this time as well but look at the trend of bitcoin look at the weekly chart the bsi indicator uh, has flashed bullish all the way back in january this candle right here you know was a very bullish candle that sparked the beginning of a new trend and there we go uh we're still bullish on uh, the weekly since january on the weekly trend and uh, very soon we are gonna flip bullish right here on the monthly now on a monthly we're gonna flip bullish right here it's gonna be significant right now in order for it to happen we need to close the months above thirty four thousand two hundred dollars so let's see our next level of uh, resistance like we are right now at resistance zone right now we may be rejected from the zone of thirty thirty one thousand dollars if not if you're gonna push through this level the next level is going to be at thirty six thousand dollars for the price of bitcoin that's the next level of resistant lies so we are right now in an overbought territory on the daily uh, which means you know when we are in the bull market and we are in the first phase of the bull market this is a time to accumulate guys this is a time to accumulate bitcoin ethereum and some other good projects especially when you see that they're you know down for no good reason <laughs> you know down 30 40 percent all of a sudden and we are in the first phase of the bull market that's the time to accumulate some more uh, some more it's called a dca strategy so uh, why why the price is moving up we're seeing five bitcoin etf applications in five days blackrock fidelity invesco wisdom tree valkyrie now those are the biggest financial institutions right blackrock is more than nine trillion under management of assets and fidelity 4.5 trillion under management and this is a rush this is a rush to the accumulation of bitcoin like um Cameron Wilkin lost the billionaire twin brother says the great accumulation of Bitcoin has begun. Anyone watching the flurry of ETF filings understands the window of the purchase pre IPO of Bitcoin before ETFs go live and open the floodgates is closing fast. If Bitcoin was the most obvious and best investment of the previous decade, this will likely be the most obvious and best trade of this decade. Because why? You know, we can tri triple, quadruple the money in this bull run for Bitcoin uh, as a trade. And if you look more into a decade, in ten, the next 10 years, well, it can be uh, even more, possibly 10x. And Michael Saylor, of course, of course, is now in profit zone. Yes, Michael Saylor, who has uh, over 100,000 Bitcoins in holdings with his company, is in profit because his average was around $28,000, $29,000. He's in profit right now. The window to front run institutional demand for Bitcoin is closing, meaning retail guys, everyday guys, just like you and me, it's time to buy Bitcoin because institutions are coming. They're going to snatch this Bitcoin and move the prices higher, right? So why Bitcoin rallied 
so much in the last couple of days is because of the flurry of the Bitcoin ETF, which stands for Ex Exchange Traded Fund, which is like in a stock market where institutions can buy like pension funds, etc. They can buy this ETF and it is as if they buy Bitcoin, right? So those institutions are obliged to hold those ETFs in a separate funds. And essentially, BlackRock is the world's largest asset manager uh, and um, you know, they have a very good track record with the uh, SEC to uh, basically, uh, you know, they listen to, they listen to them. Also, because the Federal Reserve paused the interest rate hikes last week, um, the dollar essentially, uh, the DXY index cooled off. Okay. And because of that, it's also good for the Bitcoin. Uh, the better the microclimate, the better the, the price of Bitcoin. So we also see Wall Street Giants back EDX market, which is going to trade Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin and Bitcoin Cash. So EDX markets, a newcomer to crypto exchange is backed by huge giants, Citadel Securities, Fidelity Investment, Charles Schwab. So this is definitely helping the price of, uh, of Bitcoin. And right now, we are one year before the Bitcoin halving event. So this is accumulation time. Yes, we're gonna see volatility. Yes, we're gonna see some pullbacks, but overall, this is a accumulation zone. Accumulation time is right now, before the Bitcoin halving, because of Bitcoin halving, we may be at 40, $45,000 already for the price of Bitcoin and all the coins are gonna be also in a much, much uh, higher uh, positions, okay? So, Banking is slowing down, uh, slowly dying. Former TradeFi executives on reason for joining crypto. So the traditional finance, you see, they are moving. They are moving uh, to the crypto space. They are moving all to the crypto space. Um, ex Barclays CEO praises BlackRock Bitcoin ETF filing. Uh, we're seeing all of this commentary about Bitcoin ETFs. We see uh, Valkyrie also refile with the SEC. And uh, even the federal chair Powell says Bitcoin has stayed in power as an asset class. We do see payment stable coins a form of money. That's good. That's good. Very, very good for Bitcoin uh, that he is commenting uh, in such a way on, uh, on uh, Bitcoin. And AI narrative is becoming more and more popular as uh, big Web3 companies like Polygon are launching their own ChatGPT based AI assistant chatbot. So, I'm gonna see, you know, this ChatGPT is gonna be everywhere, <laughs> be used in every project, you know, to as assistance, as a, you know, ask me anything, as a help and guidance for, um, you know, basically uh, the, the developers and um, and users as well, enthusiasts, curious users, serious builder. A Polygon Copilot is an AI-powered interface uh, that unlocks a world of interactions simply by asking. So very, very cool. So what to do right now? Well, watch the market, watch the market. Do not necessarily FOMO in right now. If you have not bought already, the market is up high right now, is an uh, approaching resistant uh, level for Bitcoin. If Bitcoin is gonna, uh, you know, have a pullback from here, from 30K back to 29, 28, there's gonna be an opportunity for you to accumulate some of these alts more uh, cheaper, okay? And also, of course, for Bitcoin as well. Uh, but if we're gonna continue going higher, the next level to watch is gonna be around $34,000, $35,000. We can easily go there into the next uh, next box, next area of uh, resistance. So we're gonna watch that, uh, watch that move. And uh, the accumulation begin, the accumulation zone begin. So I hope you heard this message. Um, right and uh it's time it's time guys for paying close attention to what's going on in the crypto markets and build up your uh crypto portfolios it's been vitaly the beating step to date with what's happening in crypto space and i'll see you in the next video